Indian River calling Pike Tower. Indian River calling Pike Tower, over. Pike Tower calling Indian River. Hi, George, over. Hi, Matt, how's everything? Dull as dishwater, George. I hope things are a little more exciting with you. Nothing happening in Indian River. It's been like this for a month. The kids have gone up your way to try the fishing. What's it like? Pretty good. I got some nice trout. You know that big pool just below the rapids? Pike Tower calling Indian River. Hey, George, something's happened to the radio. Can you read me? Over. What happened? Sounds like some kind of interference. You sure it's not something wrong with the radio? Pretty sure. More like somebody trying to jam us. Trying to jam our radio? Why? This isn't the middle of China. Yeah, I know that, but... Can you read me? Over. Charlie? Hear me okay? Yeah, I'm getting you, Mitch. Now listen. You and Al park on the main street opposite the bank at 11.40. 11.45, I meet Maxie off the bus. Got it? Check. 12 noon. The bank manager's gonna walk out with a bag. Now don't waste time. Give him the works. Grab the bag into the car and beat it. Okay? Gotcha, boss. Hey, you! Pike Tower calling Indian River. Pike Tower calling Indian River. Can you read me? This is urgent. Over. Maybe you better take a look inside. If I open her up, you won't have a radio for half an hour. I haven't got one now. Okay. Pike Tower calling Indian River. This is urgent. Can you read me? Over. <laughs> the walkie-talkie. XNY 556, C for Charlie. Over. Hi, Matt. Radio seems kind of funny. Pete, where are you? We're a couple of miles down the river. Can you get a hold of George and tell him the fishing's good and why doesn't he come up and try it? Over. Listen, Pete. I think there's going to be a bank robbery at Indian River. I picked up some kind of message, but I can't get through to warn them. Somebody's jamming the radio. I guess we can talk because you're pretty close. Over. That's a crazy story, Matt. Are you sure you got it right? Sure sounds like jamming. Listen, Pete, I'm sure, and I've got to get through to them. But I've got the head off the Jeep. It'll take me an hour to get moving, and at 12 noon, they're going to shoot Jock McPherson at the bank. Understand? Over. Shoot Mr. McPherson? Are you kidding? Listen, Pete, I'm not kidding. And we've got to get through to George or Sergeant Scott. Can you boys make it? You've got just... You can't make it, Pete. It's no use. It's only 10 miles. 10 miles in 25 minutes? Gee, not much time, Matt. Come on, boys, let's go. Hey, Pete, wait a minute. You can't do it. Pike Tower calling Indian River. Pike Tower calling Indian River. Can you read me? Over. Pike Tower calling Sampson Tower. Pike Tower calling Sampson Tower. Can you read me? Over. That'll be okay. It'll have to be. Too much weight if you want to travel fast. Can't make it. Well, we can take these. Good eating. Sure. Stop someplace, make a fire, bake them. Plenty of time, 25, 23 minutes. Okay, put them in. Come on, let's go.
last year it'll cut off a pretty big loop in the river. You know what? I think this is just a big wild goose chase. Come on, Chubb. You take the paddles. eight miles. We can't make it. The river's pretty fast from here, if we can get through the rapids.
Pete. Oh, the river's pretty fast around here. We'd have made it if it hadn't been for that tree. Can't make Indian River by noon anyhow. Something's gone wrong with it, Chubb. You got the time? We still got 13 minutes. Come on. We can't do it. Not now. We just can't sit around. Let's go. <laughs> It's downhill most of the way. Come on, Topper. Come on. Come on, Topper. Come on, hurry up, eh? got eight minutes. So we can't do it. It's nearly four miles. Only two to the fort. Okay, we couldn't even make that. Hey, he could. 
Maybe if we had a bit of paper. Get something sharp, Chuck. Don't you drop this, fella. Go to the fort, Topper. Go on. Go to the fort. Give it to Gabby. Oh. Sure wish we'd lost those fish. Person. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. I meant to give you a call. Yes, I'm going to be a little late. I'm expecting a long-distance call. Could you put my lunch in the oven? Oh, just a couple of minutes. All right, bye for now. shot in a banquet at noon in Indian smoke signal language. Joe, what's wrong? I get smoke signal. That's fine. Smoke signal from Ranger Fort. That's great. You've been teaching them? Sure, I teach them. Smoke signal say, enemy take wampum at noon. <laughs> I think somebody's trying to kid you, Joe. No, no kidding. I tell them never make smoke signal unless serious. You know what wampum is? Yeah, it's money. And there's none of it around here except in the bank. Hey, what's the date? Holy smoke. That's right, smoke signal safe. Yeah, the end of the month. The international aluminum payroll goes out. 
120,000 bucks. Hello, operator. Get me Mr. McPherson at the bank, please. with me? We ain't done nothing. What about this for a start? Okay, over here. Okay, boys, come over and join your friends. It's a good thing I saw that hand car. I don't think we could have made it without that. You couldn't have made anything if I hadn't pulled you out of the river, bud. Well, who do you guys think you are? We'd given up, remember, when I thought of riding on the birch bark? I think you've all forgotten. If I hadn't known how to make smoke signals... Hey, we've got a visitor. Say go. It's going to go go. I got someone here who wants to see you kids. Very important. Hi, Mr. McPherson. Hi, Peter. Mind if I come in? No, we're glad to see you. Well, kids, I wanted to be the first to give you the news. I just heard from my head office, and they're going to make a reward to you kids for preventing the robbery. Now, I don't know just what it'll be yet, but it'll be something useful. Hey! hey boy. Great, eh? In the meantime, I would like to make my own personal reward to the real hero of the day. After all, it was my life that was saved. Yes, son. There. Great. Hey, hey, hey good old topper. Hey. 